Hey guys, and welcome back to another <laughs> review for one of the most epic and gore-filled series I've ever come across, The Walking Dead, and oh my god, you guys, this, I think this topped last week's episode, mainly because this is what I'm just going to entitle this episode, The War on Alexandria, or The War for Alexandria. It was a war. That's what it was. This was a freaking war, or, you know, the precursor to a war. So... A few things I want to talk about today. I've got about seven topics to talk about. Let's start with uh, the one that everyone's going to go on about. It's like, oh, we found out who was the horn. It turns out it was just a flip of the switch. It had nothing to do with uh, the tractor that we saw last week. Uh, it was the wolf people. And uh, to the person who commented on my video last week, uh, you were right. It was them. Uh it was on my theory list too, I just didn't throw it in the video. Uh, so, something that we started out with is uh, that that uh, Enid girl, uh, the, the girl that was with Carl, we started off with her seeing how she sort of found Alexandria, how she lost her parents, and I kind of thought that this was a character that we were going to get to see a little bit more of, not just, you know, see a few times in the episode. So... I am kind of curious though, what was JSS that she was writing all over the place? I didn't get what that was. Uh, if it's a comic book reference to you guys, I mean, I don't know what it is. I never read comic books, so. Uh, and we really see that Carl is really, he is prepared to kill pretty much anyone who gets in his way. So Carl, good show. The stuff with Ron and his mother, all right. His mother, she sees what's going on. She knows what has to be done. She knows that her past ex-husband was a piece of crap. And putting him down was inevitably what had to happen in the end. But her son is, of course, being a little... <sighs> Do I even need to say it? This kid needs a reality smack to the back of the head. <laughs> the stuff with Deanne is a little interesting. She's... In last week's episode, we saw how her mind was slowly starting to fall apart. She was really starting to drift away from everything she'd known for so long. And now the reality is really starting to set in as to just how black and white the world is nowadays. If you see a walker, you kill it. You learn to survive. You don't sit around and wait and hope that a wall will protect you. You have to be on constant vigilant alert or else something like this will happen. So, Deanne is seeing the world what it is. It's, it's not completely black and white. There are those shades of gray and that's what everyone is kind of stuck in. Uh, the stuff with uh, the doctor I thought was a little... Uh, it, it, it was... Um, it was interesting to say the least uh, when they brought in the patient for her we knew it was going to be one of two things either she helped her and she died or she didn't help her and she died anyway it, it, it was Eugene's right call saying don't be a coward I mean if if it fails she's gonna die but if you don't do anything she's gonna die anyway so try at least it was it was good on Eugene's part because he knows what it's like to be a coward and he's trying to save someone else from, you know, knowing that feeling. Then we got the stuff with, of course, the priest. He wants to learn how to be capable of killing walkers and even fighting against other people. He is a priest. It, it's against his whole religious belief to be a, a killer or anything like that. Even though with the season... Five finale, he did snap, but, you know, that, that was a mental snap. That wasn't, you know, psychopathic killing or it, it wasn't a survival killing. He just snapped. And then, of course, we got the stuff with Car uh, Carol and Morgan. And Carol, much like a lot of us, sees that when you have a threat, you kill it. But Morgan sort of hoard, holds on to that morality side of him where basically if you don't have to kill, then don't kill. Try to talk them out of it. And he did with the first batch. 
but then he came across that guy who had the uh, the sort of death scythe thing going on, who was inside the house. He's like, I'm sorry. Bam! Knocked him out. I don't know. I'm 95% sure that he killed him, but, you know, I, I mean, why else would he say, I'm sorry? Uh, but this was a, uh, this was pretty straightforward. I love the absolute mayhem that went on through Alexandria. The action was completely incredible. You wanted to smack Ron for being an idiot when, uh, when Carl saved his life, and he's just like, come on, come inside. He's like, no, no, you're a killer. I'm a he saved you. Hello, the kid with the gun saved you. Shot at someone who was trying to kill you, and then when that person tried to kill him, he shot him in the head. <laughs> Probably my only problem with Ron is that he's ignorant, even for a teenager. <laughs> and of course, next week, we all know what's going to happen. We know that it's going to be a huge war with the Walker army. Okay, we just got done with the wolves. Like, six of them left. The rest of them are dead. And all of Alexandria has taken a huge, huge hit to the population. They are already outnumbered. As it was, they were already outnumbered, and now it's gotten far, far worse. Oh man, this this episode was just absolutely unbelievable. It didn't hardly show any walkers, and what few walkers it did show. You know, it, it's nice to see an episode where it doesn't focus on walkers being the big problem where it focuses on you know everything else we haven't had that since the governor uh and terminus so it, it's nice to see that you know the new threat that we got last season is making a bigger appearance and it's time for war and all that it's just looking like it's going to be a great season already you guys so all in all for this episode i'm going to give this one a nine point seven out of ten because I thought it was great it kept the action going it layered out all the problems that every character had with each other uh, while at the same time you know keeping it very focused on where it needed to be focused at and building up for the absolute incredible battle that's gonna happen in next week's episode we are gonna have the war of what I am guessing is probably over 300, maybe 500 walkers, possibly a thousand. I don't know the exact number. I'm betting mainly close to a thousand, but I could be wrong. <sighs> Guys, truly an epic episode. Let me know what you guys saw in the episode below. <laughs> uh, let me guys know what you thought of the episode in the comment section below. As always, be sure to follow me on Facebook. That is in the description below. Be sure to hit that like button and smash that subscribe button. Share this with as many people as you can. I greatly appreciate it. It gets this channel going. And I cannot wait to see next week's episode. Join me tomorrow for Gotham. Oh, Then join me on Tuesday for Flash. Wednesday comes Arrow. Then this, I believe it's going to be either Friday or Saturday. I don't know about for the people who have subscription, but... If uh, Friday comes around and there's a subscription for uh, a subscription or viewing... Ugh, I can't talk today. <laughs> Sponsors, if uh, you're all getting Ruby treatment on Friday instead of Saturday, join me on Friday to do my live reaction. If you're not seeing Ruby until Thursday or uh, Saturday, I'm sorry guys. <laughs> Saturday. Be sure to join in on Saturday to see my live reaction. I cannot wait. Should be absolutely epic. We got Ruby Season 3. And then, of course, join me again next Sunday, next week, for Walking Dead Episode 3 of Season 6. I've been Kedricks. As always, people, have an awesome day. Peace out. Keep the Walking Dead hype going. Go kill some walkers. <laughs> and get ready for Halloween this Saturday. Uh, not this Saturday, 
this following Saturday. Uh, I'm not here. I'm not all here today, you guys. I'll catch you guys later. Peace.